Hello class, this is Mrs. Mullick coming to you from my art studio. Our next project will be a portrait, a self-portrait in the Andy Warhol style. You should have already downloaded the app. It's called Pop Art Camera. All right. So hello class, here I am. I'm actually in my um, art studio at home. And this is a great app because it gives you lots of choices. Um, Andy Rojo was an artist that was known for his multiples. And you can see, you, you see me there four times, but each one is slightly different in a slightly different color combination. Um, okay, so as you look at this app, on the lower left-hand corner, you'll see a camera. You're going to need that when you uh, take your picture. Uh, you'll see that it should be slid over so you can see yourself or the camera is on you. The other sliding thing makes multiples. So 16 of me, 9 of me, 4 of me, and again, it does the 1 as well. We're going to do 4, and again, that gives us the most choices and variety, but still keeps the image large enough so that we can use it as a reference. On the right hand side, you'll see something that says threshold. I'm gonna click that and you can see it says U, brightness, shadow. Okay, so U is the color, so you can see how the color changes as I do that. I'm gonna keep that probably in the center. Brightness, again, again, when it's very light or bright, either extremes, you're gonna lose a lot of the features. So I'm gonna put that a little bit beyond the halfway point. I feel like that has, it gives me the most uh, features or details or shapes in there. Shadow really has to do with black. Okay, so there, if I put it down there, notice there's no black in any of the images. Some black, solid black or semi-solid black. So that's a kind of a personal preference if you wanna just do ones that are very colorful or if you wanna do the ones that add the black. We will be using a colored pencil, so that might be a choice. If you don't have a black colored pencil, obviously you're gonna select that one or that choice. Oh, this one down the bottom looks good. So I'm gonna play around and that's what you wanna do. Kind of play around to see which one that you like the best. I'm gonna zoom in and you're gonna take a photo. I'm gonna take a screenshot just in case. Um, sometimes when I click the photo, it stops recording. So I'm going to first do that. I'm going to take a screenshot. But again, you can do that little camera there. All right, so I saved one. If you don't like any of these colors, you can just tap the screen and it will give you some more colors, some more colors. So again, just kind of tap the screen. Just make sure you like one of the four because that's the one you're, you want to kind of zoom in on. And again, I can change the brightness. Maybe at this one, I want to maybe add no black, just the kind of the bright colors. I'm going to try the camera and see if that works. Okay, so that did take a camera shot. Uh, in the lower right hand corner, you'll see the little square with an arrow. You're going to click that and you're going to save image. Okay, so that did save. Hopefully it's still recording. Okay, looks like it's still recording. Okay, um, so there you are again, play around. You'll be taking again, you can do close ups, you can do a little further away, you can get the background in there. Um, but again, play around to see which one. And again, it's you, only better. All right, talk to you soon.